Friday the 10th, about 6 p.m. local, Eastern Standard Summer Time. We've been here for about an hour. We've got uh, the tent erected, got some comms up on the PM70, and uh, just erected one mast. It's just up there with nothing on the top at the moment, just uh, exercising some of the new work we've done. Max WT over there by the car and if we come around here there's a whole stack of antennas all sort of uh, piled in the bushes there. Our, uh, our second main team member Peter VK3QI has just turned up so uh, yeah I'm sure things are going to happen now. <laughs> oh dear okay okay we've progressed a little bit see we've got two poles up there without any antennas on them and uh, over here we've got 23 centimeters up six meters up uh, a few more fellows have turned up so we're getting pretty well settled in no operation today though because the contest doesn't start for about another 15 hours 16 hours K or double AK? Check. I thought it was A double K. Call the main double K. Romeo Right, here's VK3 WT Max. So I'll just get in to explain what uh, what we've got here. We're here at the 70 centimetre station, and Max, you can just uh, point out the components of the station. Okay, well, first of all, we've got the uh, ICOM IC706 Mark IIG, and uh, that's doing the hard work. Uh, but uh, that's driving into a linear amplifier with around about 150 watts output on sideband and uh, that's uh, driven by a, uh, a 50 amp power supply serving the two units. The uh, rotator 
uh, is uh, looking after the antennas uh, up the top of the mast and uh, is currently uh, pointing in around about a northerly direction just having worked uh, VK3 uh, BJM up uh, on, the, uh, on the Murray River so uh, on the Arichuca so there we go uh, the, uh, the laptop computer does all the logging and that's interfaced with the uh, computer uh, with the uh, IC706 to automatically pick up the uh, operating frequency and also the uh, the mode of operation so we don't have to worry about putting that into the uh, into the computer only necessary to type in the call sign and uh, the uh, reports received and given and in the box over the side there what's that for that box just there the um, this one up the here ethernet cable sorry oh the little box at the back here just, yeah. tip it, just tip it up a bit, Max. That, uh, that does the switching, the mode switching for the antennas. We've got vertically polarised and horizontally polarised arrays and uh, to switch from one to the other is a simple matter of uh, uh, flicking the switch down here. Operates the relays up on the, uh, uh, up on the antenna and uh, switches the, uh, the polarisation of the antennas uh, at the top of the mast. Okay, thanks very much for that. There we go, that's a 70 centimetre station. Oh, well, actually, before we do finish off, what have we got up in the air on 70, Max? Uh, we've got uh, a stack of four antennas, two horizontally polarised and two vertically polarised, and they operate as a phased array. Uh, each uh, each uh, antenna is, in fact, uh, oh, if I remember rightly, 17 elements and uh, uh, the, together they provide a uh, pattern with about uh, 30 degree beam width which is about ideal for contesting. Okay, thanks very much for that.